Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm trying out satiety. Satiety. I'm I'm not great at saying that word, <laughs> but it was listed as a short horror experience, and was part of one of the game jams. And it's about figuring out what it is you did. So let's get started. Lost to move, F to interact, C to crouch, space to jump, tab to go back. I jumped into the ceiling and got stuck. F to interact, C to crouch. It looks like everything. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. And uh, someone made a mess of the shower. Hmm, there's a blood puddle here. What happened here? Did anyone get injured? Or is it mine? You can't tell? There's a vent here. Feels wobbly. That gives me some ideas. Oh, they're running low on toilet paper. That's the real horror show. Okay. That sounds the ticking I heard. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my... on the back. Nope, sure not. Well, someone's in the denial of whatever happened here. Sheet covering something underneath it. Should I uncover it? Yes. Let's see what's here. It's like a toy horse. It's a rocking toy horse for kids. Okay. Oh, it's a hanging bar. Screwdriver! Always a handy thing to have in horror games. Never hurts to have a you know toolkit on hand. Which makes me wonder if this has to do with that vent we saw. I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it open? Yes. Was it leaning against the vent? Or did someone throw that to me? Whatever, not letting it get close enough to grab my leg. I'm assuming this guy has legs. You have a key. Try using it. Ah, door is locked. We're getting somewhere now. I'm sorry. I was trying to look for a flashlight, and I kind of missed that. Wait, is that behind me? No, it sounded like it was coming from behind me. Okay. Oh, I can sprint. Um, that's just the end of the hall. Oh, stairs. That would explain why I can't see anything. Guilt. Father. Father, guilt, fault, guilt. What's this? Father, guilt, and fault. Oh, how many times it's, like, written on the wall? Guilt. So it's father first. One, two. First number is two. That's cool. Next is what? Guilt. Okay. Is that guilt? One, two... Three, four. Wait, did I count that already? Four. Four. It's four. And then last is fault, which is two. So the passcode should be two, four, two. Yes? Unless it's written on the ceiling. Well, this bookcase is hiding more than I just the one word. That thing was written upstairs. So it should be 242, right? 
Nothing's in the back. Father is twice. Guilt is four times, so it's written once on each wall. Fault is also twice. Did something change? Hang on, let me check upstairs real quick. It's possible that it was written up here and I, I just closed the door on myself. I just thought I could interact with some. Oh, you weren't rocking a minute ago. It's rocking toy horse for kids. Was the word written up here at all? Oh, it was. Quite a bit, actually. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to add five to fault. That's why it wasn't working. All right, I think we found our solution. Good use of a small environment. Okay, fault is the bottom one, so this needs to be seven. Aha! Very clever. I like the way you incorporated that. Take T for flashlights. All right, someone's going to come running down this hallway. Yes? No? Maybe? Hmm. I'm almost disappointed. The kitchen. Whoa! That looks bad. Can't interact with it. Right next to a sink, no less. We're just asking for trouble. Oh, wow. You look like you've seen better days. Okay, I guess I need to find something to interact with in here first. There's a lot of stuff commanding my attention. Yeah, someone was up to definitely some uh, bad stuff up in here. Getting some uh, Hannibal Lecter vibes. The only thing I can currently interact with is this thing. I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it? Yes. Am I just supposed to go on in? Yeah, nothing bad's going to get me now that I'm in a small enclosed space that I can barely move in. Holding shift does nothing. So yeah, this is definitely a smart decision I've made. Hi, friend. Yeah, that's bad. When I was awake, I found myself arrested and inside of a police car. Apparently the police received a distress call from my daughter. It's found out the blood in the bathroom is from my daughter. Uh, that she's okay, as her body hasn't been found yet. Ah, you think that's the thing that went all, uh, Sadako on us? It's created within three weeks of submission of the Sinti Game Jam submission for the theme, Wait, Are We the Bad Guys? So... That was a very interesting game. It made good use of a very, very small environment. It was pretty clear what was happening, given that the last room in the area was basically a kitchen slash butcher shop. The, the, the jump scare at the end was a little predictable, uh, but the fact that there was actually kind of an epilogue afterward was kind of nice, uh, because I didn't want it to just, oh, here, you see what happened, and then game just stops. At least there was some kind of resolution and closure. Though it's very clear that even though it's almost certain that the, the, the player's character is indeed the perp, it seems like he has no memory of it, for some reason or another.
It's actually really interesting. I like how they made really good use of a very small area, and the fact that they counted the fault uh, thing for the puzzle was actually rather clever. That actually forced me to go back and revisit my environment, and that also was the, their moment to make the rocking horse start doing something. Uh, the rocking horse toy is, is one of those things you see a lot in horror games, oftentimes representing innocence, uh, to show that something terrible has happened. I kind of missed that first jump scare because <laughs> I was looking to see if I had a flashlight. Uh, so that was a my bad. That was just me being dumb. Uh, but honestly, this is a very interesting and very tightly knit story. I like the fact that it respects the player's time and intelligence and encourages the exploration to the fullest of the rooms that it has in the confines of the game. Just really, really well done stuff. Um... I guess if I had any criticisms, I, I was really left wanting a lot more, because, like, you have a great start here. <laughs> you have something really cool that you can build upon now. So that's great. Uh, also, they've done some other games, like uh, Guest List there, which is, is one I'll probably check out now, now that I've, I've played this one and enjoyed it so much. At any rate, as always, link is in the description, and this is the Hipster Snick, and I will see you guys next time.